This is Henry Frederick of NSBnews.net in uh, Miami, and I'm here with uh, Trayvon Martin's parents, Tracy, Tracy and, and Sabrina. Sabrina Fulton and, and Tracy Martin. Okay. Um, big rally today, a lot of emotion, a lot of uh, media exposure. Um, you know, people make their own interpretations of, you know, the Al Sharptons and, the, and that, you know, that kind of issue between the races. Um, what does this come down to for the two of you as parents? Beyond all that. It just means that there are people that are supporting us and that we are not alone in this fight for justice. It comes down to what's right and what's wrong. Well, let me ask you this. You know, af after Kentucky won against Louisville in the Final Four, there was rioting, cars turned over, there was fire, there was you know, some violence. There hasn't been any of that here. What do you attribute that to? Uh, we're, we're promoting peace. Uh, our son died a violent death, and I'm a firm believer in you don't promote violence with violence, we're promoting peace. Um, we like for the rallies continue to be peaceful uh, because we, we believe that there will be a peaceful resolution to uh, all of this. Are you hoping that the justice system works so that there isn't any escalated uh, activity from all of this? Yes. Uh, and as you know, the justice goes real, real slow, and sometimes the results are not less than less than heartening. But I, I would assume that you have some hope. Yes, we have hope, and we have a little faith, and that faith is going to carry us through this. Um, it just may look like it's a rocky road right now, but we believe that things will work out in our favor. Now, this has gotten global attention. Uh, what does that say about the spirit of your son and the senselessness of this killing? That tells us that there are sure. other Trayvon Martins out there that have gone unnoticed and that this is bringing attention to a lot of the things that have been going on and hopefully it makes a change. Uh, Sabrina, when you're away from all the spotlight and all the, you know, everybody on top of you, when you're alone in your, in your thoughts at night, what is the most compelling, what is the thing that goes deep into your soul about your son? Aside from the homicide. Um, the fact that the, ch the change will be made. That as a result of Trayvon Martin, there are going to be many changes with the way people think and the way the laws are written. I believe that that is the bottom line and that's our primary focus right now is to change some laws so that this does not happen to another child. Now you gave birth to Trayvon. Um, what time of day or night was that? It was at night time. Um, mm -hmm. It was about 6.30 in the evening. And you remember the pain of labor. They say a woman... You never forget it. You never forget. You never forget it. How about from a dad's perspective, Tracy? What goes through your mind? You know, in your silent times, and I don't mean to invade your privacy, but I think it's important for the world to understand where you're coming from as a father. Uh, as a father, it's, uh, it's really emotional. Because a father and son, we have a special bond. If you're real close with your son, he becomes your best friend because you want to groom him and to be uh, uh, an outstanding citizen. Um, and, and I'm, a, a son is a, a personal uh, representation of his father. What, Tracy, as a father, as a man, you saw Alonzo morning here, big NBA all-star uh, for the Miami Heat. Uh, there was a lot of vibrancy. As a man, what does this say about um, your son um, being demonized, especially in the media with, you know, he was mad, had traces of marijuana, he was wearing a hoodie, he's, what was he doing through the neighborhood? I mean, the demonization of your son, how does that, how does that square with you? Uh, it doesn't sit well with me because it's a total disrespect of my, not only my son, but of our families. Um, because we are uh, upstanding citizens, um, and we are law-abiding citizens, and uh, to slander our son's name is very disrespectful. Now, Sabrina, you, you I, I don't think there's any doubt that you have God, the Lord Jesus, at the cornerstone of your life, especially now. Uh, and I don't think you're questioning anything. But Tracy, as a father, as someone who's less outwardly emotional. Do you question, have you questioned your own faith? 
uh, or even early on? Uh, I didn't question my faith. I'm, uh, I have strong conviction in the Lord, um, and I ask why, but I never question my faith. And to ask, and, and yeah, the um, I never question. I never, I never uh, question my faith. I know my faith is strong. One more quick question. One more quick question. Um, you know, there was Malcolm X, there was Martin Luther King. All there's a lot of activism, but a a teenage boy has captured the hearts of the world. Is there is there a lot of good in all of that? I think so. And hope for you? I think so. Because his work, his name is was going to ring for a while, for a long time. Oh, I, thought NB, I thought NBC was in there. Was no that Joy Reaver? I think it was just, uh, it was God's oh, will. No cameras. Uh, that Trayvon was sacrificed for the world. Thank you both very, very much. Thank you. And I really appreciate the time. Okay. Uh, for NSBnews.net, this is Henry Frederick.